All right, so today we have Mr. Sellers with us um, here today. Mr. Sellers came to me with a uh, tennis elbow. Very common problem, um, causes pain on the outside of the elbow with gripping activities. Um, he came to me uh, a few weeks ago with that uh, problem and he's now here two weeks out from surgery, so I just wanted to go through um, his experience. So first of all, Mr. Sellers, tell me about how long you had pain in that elbow and what it was affecting. Uh, for two years I had pain. It, uh, I couldn't even pick up a drink. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just didn't have no strength. Okay, and what did you try to treat that before surgery? Yeah, it was uh, cortisone shots. Okay, and so those provided temporary relief? Temporary relief. Okay. So how would you rate your pain before surgery two weeks ago? Seven to eight. Out of ten? Yeah. Okay. And then how do you rate your pain today, two weeks after surgery? Zero. Zero. So no pain. No pain. Um, so he, uh, Mr. Sellers underwent an arthroscopic uh, tennis elbow surgery, which is kind of uh, the, the latest and greatest. And so if you come over here, you can see he really only had these two small incisions, one there and then one on the inside of the elbow, which you can barely even see. So with those two incisions, we're able to treat his problem. And you can see now he has full range of the motion of the elbow today. Let's do palms down, palms up, okay? And then have you hold your wrist up, don't let it press down, hold strong. This is the thing that really caused him a lot of discomfort before surgery. So let's go over here and look at his pictures. So here we have the uh, pictures from his elbow surgery. This is the arthroscopic surgery. What we're looking at here is the area of tennis elbow or um, tendinopathy. This is the ECRB tendon. It's very inflamed. It's a little bit hard for you to tell, but I can see that there's some changes there. This is the point of interest. And so basically what we're going to do with this surgery is go underneath with um, small instruments and remove that pathologic tissue. There you can see we put a needle in the point of his maximal tenderness that we marked before surgery. So you can see that we're right in the spot where he's having a lot of difficulty. And here you see the instrument coming in. We're going to remove all that pathologic tissue, leave the good, healthy muscle tissue, and then what we do is scuff up the bone a little bit to allow stem cells into the area and to heal his condition. So through those little small incisions, we're able to solve his problem of tennis elbow.